sends it to the middle, gives back to Ayana Vason, who she switched with. Now Gigi Smith, right corner, gives it into Abusic, right of the paint. She tries to back down Colin, dribbles, dribbles, hooks it, and it doesn't go off back iron, but she's able to get the loose ball and then put it back up and in off the glass. And just like that, the UNCW Seahawks take the game's first lead. It's 2-0. Vason gets it just underneath the arc, top of the key, and drills that shot. Heel on the right wing. Gets it into Hines. She works it from right of the paint and is able to lay it in. And that's the Pride's first points of the evening here. Now gives far side to Thibel. Thibel to Gigi Smith. Top of the key three is good. G Finally does get it over that half court stripe. Double high ball screen set by Reynolds and Colin. And Aza baseline jumper, or rather, Free throw line jumper, good. Looks for somebody to get open, brings it left, can't find anybody, now finds Carrier Reynolds popping to the top. It's Reynolds, left corner for Sandra Karsten. Three pointer is good. <laughs> Fernandez Hill along with Jalen Hines, Val Valcourt, Petra Krapenko, and Sandra Karsten are your five on the floor to start it off out of the immediate timeout for the Pride. And there goes Jalen Hines, laying it off the glass and in. The Pride have their first lead of this game. Are really pulling away as Honor Hernandez heel deep three pointer from where the arc bends right side. Val Valcourt, big rebound. Jalen Hines lays it in and finishes the play 23 to 20. It's a three point Hofstra lead. After all that calamity ensues, and now here comes UNCW the other way. Shadari Bell, top of the key, gonna pull from three and sinks that shot from the top of the key. Shanari Bell mills into an Aza. Guarded by Crisp. And now Aza is going to drive right to the hoop. Throws it up and gets the floater to go off the glass and in. And she's heading to the line for a three-point play the hard way. Smith. Right side. Now right corner three from Crisp. That one is good. And a big-time bucket by UNCW to put him up six at the half. Ball off the glass doesn't go. And Smith comes up with the board. Mason. Now to Crisp, left corner three, and Mariah Crisp does it again with the corner three. Val, again, not able to hold her dribble, and now she has to go back the other way and see if she can defend the Suggs laying. Suggs stops, hesitates, lets Valcourt jump, and then lays it in herself. This is coming from someone who shot 53.7% from the stripe this year, as Jalen Hines steals that midcourt pass away, and the pry lay it in. Again, either way, Seahawks start back, Vason kicks it back. Top of the key three for Lacey Suggs is good. Gigi Smith hit the floor for their respective squads. Long lead pass for Ja'Kayla Brown gets to her. Now she drives baseline and lays it in off the glass. Crisp, back to Munoz. Obusic down low in the paint. Reverse lay-in is good. Obusin holds at the top and gives the Suggs far side. Obusic right of the paint. Backs into the second A of the CAA logo, hooks it off the glass and in. 56-49, it's a seven point lead in the Basin tend to go on the shot clock, have to find somebody open. Ja'Kayla Brown strips it away, and now the Pride take over possession. 50 seconds left, they cross the timeline. Hernandez heel, three pointer from the right side is good. One point ball game here at the MAC. He's looking for something here. Now five, drives inside, foul line extended right side, tries to get baseline. Two seconds, lets it go from the right wing. Deep two is good. It's a three-point Seahawks lead. Sandra Karsten, three-pointer, no good from the far side. Hines with the putback, but that's not gonna do it as UNCW is gonna hold on and survive here at the MAC by the final score of 62-59. And Jess